Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scrolla. Today we're going to learn about project management and I'm going to show you some tools you can use if you're working in a team or if you're working by yourself. And these tools are very useful if you want to organize the things you have to do, the things you have done and the things you want to present, etc. That it's going to be very useful but before that I want to talk about some things in the last episode we made the level up system work uh, working with the experience we get by killing the mummies but there was a little error that code let us knew in the comments uh, there's his comment and I fixed this problem by changing an if statement to a while loop the error that was happening was that if the mummy gave us too much experience enough experience to level up twice our character will only level up once but the amount of experience will always be greater than the experience needed to go to the next level so that's what I was doing here before it was an if yeah if as you see if the experience is greater than the experience needed then we level up but what happens if we have twice as much of the experience needed we're still only going to level up once and our experience needed therefore will always be less than the experience that we actually have and that will make us have our feel of the experience bar always feel to the top so how we fix this is just at a while and if you want to try this error just make your mummy give you a lot of experience and then try to killing well this is an if and you will see what happens so if you want to fix that just change this to a while and the other thing I want to show you before we go to the project management how to manage your work is that I added a animation event to the mummies so now they attack me and now that every time they attack me I'm going to get something called incapacitated time so every time a mummy attacks me I cannot move or I cannot attack so it's like they will you see right now I'm just running and every time they hit me I get I lose some health if you see here on the right current health went down but I also get incapacitated time and that doesn't allow me to move which is it makes the game harder since I cannot just overrun all the mummies and I cannot just attack 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 I also going to get incapacitated so that's something that I easily added here uh, I just made a function called get incapacitated so I just call this get incapacitated function I give it 0.2 seconds so every time I get hit I'm going to get incapacitated for 0.2 seconds which will not let me do anything because here in update I have an if statement if I if my incapacitated time is greater than zero then I will return I will return but I don't want to stack those incapacitated times together so what I do is every time I call it I check sorry uh, here I check that the incapacitated time that I currently have is less than the time so if that's true I'm going to stop the routine and I'm going to set the incapacitated time to this time and then I'm going to start the call routine again in the call routine what it does is while the incapacitated time is greater than zero I'm going to wait for 0 0.1 seconds and remove 0 0.1 from incapacitated so incapacitated time gets uh, lower and lower values until it reaches zero so that's how I make this function work so that the enemies can stop me from moving when, when they attack me and it makes it a little bit more challenging and more balanced for us to play so yeah now that I I I went through this I'm going to show you the tools I use for management and the first tool is Trello so let me go to Trello and I have a lot of boards in Trello because I use it a lot 
and I already made an RPG scroller as you see so I'm gonna I'm going to create a new example uh, just to show you how I do things so I create a example board and by the way you just need to go to Trello and create your account and then you're ready to go it's free so as I was saying I made a new example I can show you my RPG scroller first so first you see I made three milestones and all of these are lists I want to separate my work into things I have to do so for example milestone a I need to set the player get hit player die player stats and attributes walk and jump because until now I cannot walk and jump at the same time so these are things I want to do then a milestone B I want to make NPCs quests inventory and shop milestone C I want to do skills equipment different areas uh, maybe we can add one more uh, oops sorry I can save and load data and if I think like I saw some people in the comments saying uh, we should be able to save and load data I think this could be done in milestone B then I will just change it to you just can dra drag things around very convenient so as I just show you a few minutes ago I already made the function player get hit you saw me getting hit by those mummies and get it incapacitated and also losing some HP so I'm going to mark this as done and I usually use a green label to set things done so here I could we could actually edit this um, just create a new label select a color and call it done and just select green and create oh I type where in Spanish done okay so we were going to select this one so now this this task is done and if we want to let our co-workers or our partners or whatever who uh, whoever we're working with they want to know what we did we can make a checklist so uh, I can just make a new checklist I'm going to call it tasks or uh, features or whatever and I'm going to say that this is uh, get incapacitated and that decrease health and also call die if health less than zero less or equal than zero so we got this we got this and we got this so people can actually see oh he hasn't he hasn't made the call die function yet or you can they can see everything that you you are doing um, if you want to you can have some stickers you can have a lot of things you can just play around anyway this is going to be very useful when you are working with your teammates or if you just want to set your work what you want to do and get things tidy so you can see your progress and also know what you have to do um, other websites I recommend for uh, project management you can try um, I think it's called Basecamp so Basecamp as you see they say it's a project management tool which is very useful too you can upload files oh by the way in Trello you can also upload files so for example here NPC I could attach attachment from the computer from your Google Drive you just attach a picture it's going to show the picture on it so yeah similarly in uh, Basecamp I haven't set up my account but you can upload stuff it allows you to communicate set checklist to done and uh, not ready yet you have you have these charts you can do a lot of things so go check the video and see if this is good for you and the other app I will suggest you is um, slack slack is very good too and slack uh, helps you I already have a project in slack with my university when I was working in a school project um, we can go see the product so well basically you can make channels so you have different discussions and you can tag people you can assign tasks you can upload pictures you can upload files and 
you can easily create new channels to talk about different tasks of or different things that you have to get done in a project so for example you have the general you have marketing you have engineering in my project let me see if i can show you this um i remember we had some like we had the git channel we have the presentation channel we have the models and visual effects the um, yeah just like that we had direct messages here and you just it's very convenient to get keep in touch and and keep everyone in the team informed and just and just having everything tight and neat so you can get everything when you need it some people racing outside i don't know if you can hear that in the computer if you can anyway so these are three tools you can use for your project management if you're in school and you have some schoolmates and you want to get everything very neat or if you're working or if you just are working by yourself and you want to have all your task in order and you want to know exactly what you're doing then i recommend you use trello or any of these tools that are online for free and i just want to tell you this because when i was starting doing these things in unity and working with my schoolmates we didn't know we had these things and if i had them at that time if someone told me hey you could use these free tools you could use some project management in your in your project i would done much better i would have done much better so go on go on and try them if you don't want to try them just skip this and don't listen to me but i highly suggest you at least try it and see for yourself so that's it for this video i don't have much updates to show you but as you saw on my trailer i'm going to start working on the player die and getting player stats and attributes and finally walk and jump and i think that will be season one and we'll start later with season two of this series which is going to talk about this so thank you guys very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video find it helpful and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i'll see you next time Goodbye. Peace. Psh.